Hello, beautiful people. Uh, just more clarification on my chest exercise at home uh, because it's weird, it's unusual. So what happens recently for the last month I've been exercising at home completely and I think not only I saved, retained my physique, also I started after the keto diet so I bulked up significantly. I was like, like this. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's okay. Uh, applying least effort there can be. So, for the chest, literally, I do whenever I have 15 minutes. For the chest, I would do push ups. Um, you can do anything. Again, it's, it's never 100% form, 100% efforts. And more importantly, that you do this. If you, if you attain 80%, still good. It's excellent. So I would do push-ups. I would ask someone to sit on my, on my neck. That would add up. So normally, if I, if I weigh, um, if I weigh, um, just uh, placing my hands on the, on the scales, that would be about 60. So I weigh uh, now, 85 kilos, so that would be 60. So the equivalent to 60 barbell. If I ask someone to si sit on my neck uh, completely with the legs um, of the floor, that would add up that weight. So, for example, that's 60 kilos plus uh, 60, so 120 kilos, not bad. And then I would do I would do this, for example. So that equates to the, maybe, to the uh, crossovers. So it can be like this. So you place your shoulders backwards, sort of thing, and then let yourself go controlled in the controlled fashion. Oh. And another variation can be so you place your hand on on a wall, let yourself go sideways and then push yourself up. So if you come closer and concentrate on my chest, so you would see that muscle fibers of this segment work out the exercise. So they become under tension. Surprisingly, the not surprising actually, the Deltoids is not engaged as much. Uh, side deltoids is soft, doesn't get engaged. Front, just a little bit probably this this section, and upper chest. So it's good for the upper chest. So essentially, what what happens? It equates like you bring the weight upwards if you lay on the bench. So that would be. And then the same thing on the other side, obviously. And you can do a little stretch. And then you go on the other side and you do the same. So here you horizontally, a little bit away from the door frame. And then you let yourself go in control fashion. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. What oh, what the score? Five. Five. Oh, importantly, you stretch yourself prior because it places a little bit of um, tension on the back because it's it's try to twist you back to the full. You do like this. So push-ups and um, basic technique. Place your hands like this. Put your shoulder blade back and engage the chest muscles only. Wow. Oh. This is the the end of the workout and a bit tired. And again, if you do it slowly, not just jumping in and out, bouncing. Essentially, muscle is very elastic things. You can store a lot of energy in the muscle so you can bounce bounce off from the stretch position to the contracted. So Essentially, you're using the the muscular uh, tension at the store of energy, and then you engage engage the muscle the less, the least uh, compared to the controlled, thoughtful movement. Oh. If you short of breath. After the exercise, this is good. That means you worked out the muscles that can grow in in volume, in mass. Those are fast twitch muscle, so-called fight muscles. They the only muscle that can massively grow. The strong muscle. So this is uh, depleted oxygen effect, and you. Catching up the oxygen for the oxygen deficiency that you created with the exercise, anaerobic exercise. I don't even count, I just go to the like 80% of the failure. I mean, it's enough. Uh, I don't want to take energy from my mind, uh, from my mental capacity for the next day, for the rest of the day. I just exercise for for this half hour. So this is chest exercise for you. So normally I would finish it up with the two more exercises. Oh, this is the 
most favorite favorite exercise for the deltoids i mean you need to train them separately you engage them when you train chest but this is mostly the front delts this part and this uh, middle part and the back deltoids so for the home exercise what i devised is the exercise a sideway tilt as well so you tilt yourself like this then if you let yourself go you you'll be standing like this but you straighten yourself up along the body line and you push yourself uh, upwards straight up with the with the force you create with your deltoids on the wall against the wall so it would be like this Again, it uh, looks and sounds simple, but if you do it thoughtfully, with only the muscle strength and movement, without bouncing on and off of the wall, it becomes, it becomes uh, really strenuous. It engages your deltoids a lot. Uh, so I don't count now, but I would normally count it 15, 20. You can change the uh, the incidence an angle. So you can do like this, like that. Oh, but normally it's just sideways. It's a great exercise that you can do at home. So again, you. So you press against the wall with this part or this part. So if you press with this part, you try not to press with your elbow, not to injure it, not to so and again if you if you let just your hand go, it creates a bit of leverage on your elbow, which is not good. It'd rather be this side but not the bone not the cartilage you need to be careful of that it must be muscles so if you if you place it this way it would be uh, back deltoids you need to press it this way and uh, thereby you engage the side deltoids the good part of this exercise that you start from the from the st stretch position so this is pretty stretched so if you do sideways sideways raises it's not pretty stretched it becomes stretched like this or if you do like this it's pretty stretched but because you tilt it here like this already so you can see you you in a stretch position this is why it's a good exercise with the small weights like this so you place yourself as a convenient I would uh, normally do two sets, one, two, three sets. It all depends how much time I have. Always good. So slightly at an angle, and I press by this part against the wall. So if you if you focus here, this is how it looks like. So I change my my pressure point from here to here if I go further up a little bit. 
or I can do like this, not changing the point of connection with the wall. Oh. Oh. So this reminds me of uh, seated lateral raises in the gym on the machine. It's not not full amplitude movement, which is is as good and bad. So as good as anything. Good. And then and then I might finish up with last exercise. And finishing up with the triceps. Just um, curve it up a little bit. Not make it as heavy as in the gym. I would think it equates to 10 kilos uh, dumbbells. You can do it like half an hour long or something, maybe 15 minutes. I would increase the the range. I would start it in very stretched position, and thereby it becomes and one <laughs> one like one hand exercise. Thereby it becomes. Uh, you know, heavier and equates to heavier weight. So, uh, I would do it. Yeah, I would, I would, I would stretch my triceps a little bit more than usual. So, usually you can go like this. Yeah. But here you can go even further and then use your triceps to push yourself upwards. So it becomes more like French press, uh, pressing dumbbell behind your behind your head. There's no point of going further than this because you're you're already standing. This is why it's a limited range exercise. <clears throat> Start stop technique. To squeeze everything from your muscle. Ooh. And equally on the other hand as well. So I don't count because I don't care that much. At some point, I would start counting the repetitions. I would want my muscles to be of equal proportions. Mm. But if you don't, it doesn't matter. As long as you do something. The, I do use my rejuvenation protocols, uh, which can help a lot to prepare stem cells for the maturation to the functional muscle fiber. And this is much better than pumping yourself up with the androgens. And yeah, so I've got a lot to update you with. Uh, I had experience with the ketogenic diets, increased hair loss, increased heart rate, so I need, needed to combat that all. A lot of insights, and this is just day-to-day -day update, so I filmed it now, I'm uploading it now. And um, I will share some uh, information with you soonest. Lots of hugs and affections to you all. Have a good day.